Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the Roving Giant here. I'm stepping out in the middle of the road without looking first. And uh, I have a couple of my buddies with me. I got Jeff and Mike. Say hi guys. Hey. How's it going? And we are going to do a little hike on the Finger Lakes Trail this afternoon and then do a little camping. Got a couple more people showing up later and yeah, we'll take you along for a ride. So we made it off the road and now we are heading into the woods. It's a really pretty spot here. It's like really new growth and uh, it looks like it's been cleared relatively recently, which is, I don't know, it's pretty with all the snow on the ground. We're letting Jeff lead us. Who knows if that's bringing us anywhere good, but tree root there where a tree fell right here. That's beautiful. It's like two of them side by side. Oh, that's awesome. So we just made it back onto the road from being in the woods a little ways and we're following these uh, white blazes. Can we see that there? Yeah, right there. So we're following the white blazes uh, and on the Finger Lakes Trail the blazes kind of have their own system. Every trail seems to have their own system for how they mark. On the Finger Lakes Trail how it works is one blaze means keep going straight so we will keep going straight down here and then we get up here and the trail takes a right hand turn and how we know it takes a right hand turn is we look at this tree and you see how it's got two blazes and one of the blazes kind of is off to the side from the other one the the high blaze shows you the direction you're going so that one's turning that way uh, if it was the opposite it would be going the other way so yeah a little tutorial for you per uh, Mike's ingenious request <laughs> These are the sandwiches that they uh, give you for out on the trail. Paper sandwiches. Yeah, so you just take a nice bite and you pass it along to the next person. Um, um, trail register. No one's been up here for a while, eh? Yeah, uh, what is it? The 6th. Yeah. Right there. What's, what is today, 18th? Today, yeah. 18th. <laughs> you can walk up, but I believe in you. It's going to be comical. I'm going to have a video ready when you fall, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This is it. I didn't have the momentum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's icy, too. Oh, my goodness, yeah. It's real icy. Ah! Hey. <laughs> hey oh! Oh, oh! <laughs> All right, now, now for the ultimate test. Well, you're so tall, all you have to do is go like Can this. I do it with a camera in hand? If you lose it, I'll grab it from you. <laughs> Yeah, just toss it up here if you yeah. start to fall. <laughs> oh, it's leaning. You care more about the camera. Ha ha! Did it. Just been following the deer's path and it's actually interesting because it seems like the deer follows the trail better than we do so <laughs> but there's some more finger lakes trail markers beauteous beauteous maximus 
going through a really pretty section. Check this out. structure here nature's amazing what's depicted is a poodle fornicating with another dog <laughs> don't let him talk about you like that poodle made it around from the uh, beautiful hemlock, spruce, whatever those are, grove, and realized that up there is actually where the camp is. So we're gonna get our stuff from the vehicles and camp out for the evening, and that was a good hike. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was pretty comfortable. It was. My leg fell off, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> we made it back with the vehicles. I've got the poke ready there. And uh, yeah, we're still waiting on a few other guys, but. Uh, I'm going to start making my way up with my gear, and uh, we'll see you at camp. trying to get this whole rig here set up. All right, let's see how double bagging it works tonight. Hey guys, so it was a bit too dark to do any more filming. I'm heading into bed. I'm officially double bagged. Got my gear all ready to go. I ended up putting a couple of these little uh, hot hands uh, down in my socks because my feet have been kind of damp and they're cold and I figure that'll give me a bit of an edge. But yeah, we're gonna make our way down for the night. I'm looking super gangster because my hat's sideways. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get situated, get my 
stuff up over here and get it up over my face so that the cold doesn't get my nose and stuff like that and put this headlamp away let me get this fixed i feel dumb all right so i'm ready to be a bandit for the evening and uh yeah hey thanks for coming along today we'll see you in the morning hey good morning everybody i uh, it's about 7 30 and we are uh trying to get out of the bed but it is cold so <laughs> it is really hard to wake up and get out of warm comfy stuff when it is cold outside um, but you know nature calls gotta make it happen so last night uh started off very interesting you see i got just about situated i was all comfortable just doing my last little bits of adjustment and right here the loop that on the end of my hammock that uh kind of gathers all the fabric together and connects onto this uh whoopee hook whoopee hook ripped rip right through it ripped a clean clean cut right through the whole thing um and i went down just boom. <laughs> uh i uh fortunately it was comfortable because i landed on snow and a mountain of down but i uh I uh, was a, a little surprised, to say the least, and um, had to get up. I had to re-thread the line back through the end of the hammock and tie a new knot, because it didn't have a knot. I had a continuous loop there, and I can show you what that is some other time, but uh, I've been working with that with this hammock for a while. Never had it fail, but it failed. I don't know if the continuous loop pulled out or if the whoopee hook actually cut through the cord through the am steel, but either way, it was not pretty because I fell on my butt. Then I had to get up with cold fingers and try to retie this knot. I was able to retie the knot and get everything going for sleeping and it held for the night, but that's why it's good to know your hammock so you know how to fix it if it breaks because otherwise I would have been sleeping on the ground for the night and I was not ready for that. I figure it's not even worth trying to put my tent back in its case until I dry it out and everything. So. Yeah. How was the night, Mike? <laughs> ah, cold, but comfortable. Yeah. Nice. It wasn't too bad. I was glad the snow came in the morning. Yeah. That was nice, even though it is cold right now. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Pretty well. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Tossed and turned a little bit without being with desire to, to switch shoulders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You have to get up to pee at all? I, I held it. No. I gotta go real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Make it so. Make it so. How was your night, brother? It was wonderful. <laughs> no, very good. Yeah? You yep. look like you stayed dry in there. Stayed pretty good and dry. I don't know how my uh, pants are gonna fare. Oh yeah, mine were so stiff down at the bottom of the leg I could barely get them over my boots. <laughs> Frozen solid. We'll see how it. We'll see how it goes. I learned a little. Yeah. So your underquilt looks good. I, uh, got a little bit of a gap over here. We could seal that up better. Little gap there on the ends. I got figured out how to get yeah. sealed up yet. But. There we go. That one. So we're just getting the fire going here and uh, breakfast breakfast is next. Ha, ha, ha.
forgot the name of it for a second. I was like, Zoo Fun Man? Zoo Fun? No. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys this cool little piece of kit that I tried out. Uh, I heard about it on the uh, Hang Your Own Hang podcast, but this is the uh, GSI Outdoors Kung Foon. And uh, it's a titanium sport with chopsticks. And the chopsticks can extend it. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> I feel like I've used it for at least a dozen things since we've been, been at camp and now these guys are jealous. <laughs> so, <laughs> so check out the uh, Kung Foon, it's pretty cool. <laughs> a little chunkier than it used to be. <laughs> and there's two, but I left those in the car because I'm like, I know those are going to be Yeah. And I was like, oh, frozen banana. Sounds pretty good. Then I'm like, you're going to be in the middle of the woods. A frozen banana might not be the best. Might not be the tastiest. Yeah. Dumb. Stop being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. will do for you. Put <laughs> <laughs> the fire. Don't yell at me because you didn't put out the fire. Put it out. <laughs> we did start the fire, but then we put it out because there's uh, gonna it's burn stuff. It's dangerous. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we uh, have packed it. That's all, folks. We are. Uh, all packed up, ready to make our way back to the vehicles. Thanks for coming along. Uh, Till next time, stay curious. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next trip.